Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another one of our videos. In today's video, more Cosmic Eclipse. I'm just gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 packs of cards. So we're just taking right out of the right hand side in today's video. Next up, we'll take out of the left hand side, I think. And without further ado, let us get started. Welcome to our four-part Cosmic Eclipse booster box opening. In case you're curious, there is a part one out on the channel, so make sure to check that video out. Link will be down below in the description. Um, and it, this is also part of a four-part playlist, so if you are interested, make sure to check it out. Um, in the last video, in case you missed it, had some funny business going on, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, a white code card. We pulled four hit for what I consider to be hits, which has now scared me into believing that either A, this is a um, broken booster box of Cosmic Eclipse and we will continue to pull at that rate, or more likely, um, they were all just kind of towards the front of the booster box and now, um, well, you know, we're going to have the pulls a little bit more spaced out. Um, you know, when you open up a booster box, you typically see something in the range of like, five to seven hits per pack. This is a Phantom. The other thing that I've noticed is that I'll get a white code card and get a non-holographic rare. Then I'll open up a green pack or the green code card and I'll have uh, a GX card. So again, kind of confused because that's typically not how that works. But um, the good news is that I got this from a very reliable seller over on eBay, so I am not in the slightest concerned about the legitimacy of these cards. This is a green pack, um, one, two, three, four. Uh, so it's not that I'm concerned about the legitimacy, I'm just like, are you sure? Are you, like, did we put the, and I'm usually just like, yeah, you know, sure. Or did we just put the wrong color code card in there? Um, so yeah, you know, just a little concerning, that's all. Nothing to be worried about on the two. A pinch, very cute. Looks like it's about to eat that cactus. This feel is upside down. Look how cute it is. I love it. Oh, hello, Mimic you and hello, how horribly centered you are. Wow. Yeah, see? So now in the green pack, we get the full art Mimic you, and then we get a holographic card. So I'm very confused as to what's going on. But I'm happy. I will consider it a pull nonetheless. So there you go. Um, so that's two packs in. Still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, okay. The reason I'm doing the math multiple times throughout the video is also because I did goof on the um, on the Burning Shadow stuff. So you will notice that in one of the videos, if it hasn't already gone live, that um, we open up 10 packs. There's a green. And then in the other one, we open up eight. And that's just because I'm a rocket scientist and can't do math well. So there is that. Um, Probo Pass, Igly Buff, Pyroar, Stuffle, Ponyard, Litleo, Coughing, Nose Pass, Oh, the Sad Eevee, and a Paso Land. Pack number three. Um, so there is that. Today's random point of conversation, as the video continues to progress, is what have you been pulling out of Cosmic Eclipse? Um, have you seen some of the weird quirks that I'm seeing, or is it just me? It's probably just me, to be honest. Um, ooh, fire energy. There is apparently a Charizard in the set. A Charizard and Brexen, if I'm not mistaken. So, interestingly enough, that would be a card to chase in the set. I'm not gonna say it too loud. You know, not trying to ask for anything crazy. Hello, Rowlet. Um, I just want good cards, man. That's all. Got a Palpitoad. Got an Empoleon. Very cool. Another one with this Rowlet. I love it. Look how cute it is. It's Garin. And so is the code card. Bars. Definitely spoil this because if there was anything worth pulling in here, you would have seen it in the spread. But we got a grass energy for the Rowlet, a Pangoro, a Rapidash, a Vibrava, a Rowlet, a Phantom, a Lolan Grimer, a Magnemite, a Eevee, a Buzzwell. We just got the rare. And ooh, okay, that Victini is pretty cute. Hello, cutie. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
That's a really dope hollow pattern. My goodness. Okay. It's not a pull, but I'll throw it back there. I really like that card. We have this starter wonder that is Blastoise. You got another green code card. Dare it be, dare it be. Um, let's go four from the back as we always do. This particular one is a little busted, not gonna lie. We've got a Fighting Energy, a Roller Skater, a Clefairy, a Pig Knight, a Simeon, a Rowlet, a Lillipup, a Skrelp, a Pikachu, a Iglybuff, and a Sylveon is our regular rare of the pack. Very cool. Opening up the... What do you call it? Not the Kanto. Um, the Generation 4 Box Art Legendary Pokemon. Pretty cool stuff there. One, two, three, four. From the mech. Got a Fairy Energy. Beastite. A Leap. A Jolteon. A Oddish. A Rufflet. Piplup. A Lowland Vulpix, a Rockruff, a hakama -O, and a Walrein Regular Rare. Ooh, spooky. Gonna put these in the corner over there. We got another two packs to go, friends. And like I said before, um, feel free to check out some of our other videos. We do have a Burning Shadows box opening going in tandem with this one. Um, so those will be pretty spread out probably over the next couple of months. Um, you know, you'll probably see like one or two a week, um, which is random stuff opening up. So, you know, definitely tons of stuff on the channel. And then we'll also try to do some of our TCG Toolkit episodes, PSA returns, Card Vault episodes. So getting a good mix in there for you. Um, I mentioned in one of my previous videos how excited I am for 2020. Um, and again, we're probably like halfway through January now. So it's one of those situations where um, I could say Happy New Year again. Of course, Happy New Year, all the best. Um, for this channel, I really would do want to grow it. A Pikachu and Sunflora. Um, that's a dope card. Very off-centered, but super dope card. Oh, look at the Pikachu. It's too cute. Um, so, you know, for me, one of my personal goals for 2020 is definitely continuing to see this channel grow. Um, thanks to some of our awesome subscribers and followers, we were able to grow pretty rapidly in 2019. Um, I started back in October of 2019, and I gotta say I grew very, very um, satisfactorily, at least for myself. But I think, of course, I want to set some challenge goals for myself to do have a white code card. Um, so, you know, for... 2020, I definitely want to challenge myself to continue to grow, to continue to um, reach new heights with this channel. Um, and, you know, thank you again for all the support along the way. Um, and of course, as always, constructive criticism is always welcome. So feel free to leave some of that if you see something. And if also, if you come up with an idea and you say, hey, I'd love to see this for TCG Toolkit for PSA Card Vault, um, you should buy this and submit it. Okay, an Ursa Ring. That, by the way, looks like it belongs in Kung Fu Panda. Let's just talk about that super quickly. As I slap the camera and drop stuff in the background. Oh, joy. A Ursa Ring. Look at it. <laughs> it looks like it's going to Kamehameha. Um, but yeah, friends. Uh, so that's the plan for 2020. Thank you again for joining um, us on that journey. But more importantly, for this video, one step at a time, as I always say. Thanks again for joining, friends. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you like. Um, feel free to leave some constructive criticism, like I said, down below. And uh, yeah, join us again sometime soon for another opening, for another special video. Um, and stay tuned for updates on this particular box. We're about halfway done now, so not gonna lie, I've been pulling some fire out of it. So very excited to see what comes out of it next. All right, friends, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.